All right, guys. Losers at work here. Dave and Dylan for Long Dark Episode 12. There's a change of pace. Dylan's the one eating dinner tonight. Yeah, yeah, I am. Uh, it's going to be delicious. It smells bizarre. Apparently, Velveeta makes mozzarella cheese now. And if you don't eat it, you're an asshole. Just like Big Red. I think what you're trying to say is if you don't chew Big Red, fuck you. Whatever. We can go this way. Yeah, yeah, we could totally not break our legs doing that. You're right. Well, you gotta admit this would... Actually, we probably could do this way. We might be able to go that way. Let's try it. Alright, guys. Uh, Second best idea we've got ready, on the channel. Get ready for broken legs. Because... Because this is how those happen. Actually, this is... <laughs> that's one for broken legs, gamers. Press X! <laughs> Press that. What is that from, uh... Fucking... Call of Duty Ghost War Advanced Fighter Part 23? Press F to pay respects. Yeah. Total disrespect paid when no one pressed X at the funeral. Man, this game. Not so great on awesome terrain. Oh, at least 12. Like, I think 12 is, is probably... Are we counting uh, Black Cops? Yeah, we're counting Black Cops and Black Cops Part 25. And, and Modern... And Carl on Duty Black Cops. And... <laughs> Carl on Duty? <laughs> I like how every time you hop, you have a chance to just, you know, break every bone in your body. You've, uh, have you never seen that, Dylan? What? Uh, Call of Duty Black Cops. Or Carl on Duty Black Cops. <laughs> no! And it's, uh... It's fucking Carl Winslow from Family Matters. We already got a private already. Uh, probably. But do we have dead guy shoes? No, but we have single rifle round. If all you had on him was that and a pry bar, I have some ideas on why you died. Because <laughs> he tried to hit the back of the pry bar? <laughs> or tried to hit the back of the bullet with the pry bar? That should be a spent rifle round then. We failed, Dave. Well, I was just thinking because he only had things that, like, you know, weren't useful without other things. Yeah. They didn't have the other things. You want to take a piece of firewood? So, yeah, probably. That's the fire alarm that's in the corner for, like, days. Why did you recklessly smash shelving units? No, but I'm going to recklessly drink this soda. <laughs> I'm not sure that's something that can be done recklessly. Oh, Dave, man, you're missing out. Yeah? If you've never done something reckless that can't be done reckless... Well, I, I mean, I have some sodas right here. In what way would you... Those aren't sodas, Dave. Those are Arizona iced tea. You're right. They pop. Because soda's not a real thing. But... You know. Dude. You know for I'm getting some serious Lincoln Park vibes off you right now. Why? Did, did you get pretty far? But in the end, you didn't... It didn't really matter? Well, I did try so hard. But, uh... Yeah, it just doesn't feel like it did much for me. You know, I... I'm pretty... Pretty emotional about it. Now, the user at home might be wondering how I'm going to, uh, eat and play. And I'm just, I'm glad I got the onion feet off. I mean, you need that so that you can live a productive lifestyle and eat while you play. He was going to use the feed bag, but it obstructed his voice too much. Yeah, you need the trough because it just, it just lays everything right out there for you. Lays it all out. These houses aren't giving us anything good. Not really. These like, houses are, are kind of bad. I guess they're giving us some... Some food. Some food, yeah. I mean, that's that's basically... All you can ask for, right? Like, like I mean, that's how the, the crack and little huts work. It's, uh... Did I put a rifle in one once? Well, you got incredibly lucky. Well... Duh. <laughs> I think I know how this dude died. <laughs> some drugs? I think he took a little too many drugs. That's not true. He could have, like, broke his leg and blood to death internally or something. True. You know what's funny? Story story's funnier? Whatever. Fine. Well, they're both pretty grimdark. Oh, man. Space oh. Marine. Yeah. Space Marine. Hopefully that's been posted. Emery. When are we, when are we posting Space Marine? Um, are we just going to talk about it for, like, a month and try and get everyone really hype, all eight of our viewers? I think the way that works is... Leonard's posted the last... Episode 11 is the last episode of... Um, the thing. That, that they made. Link to the Future? Yeah, Link to the Future. And, uh... I'm gonna post... Our next series is, is Space Marine. So, it'll be up next Monday. 
You know, we should probably change all the, uh, change all the, uh, Link to the Past titles to Link to the Future. Maybe Nintendo won't fuck with us so bad. Dude, did I tell you I looked at the copyright claim? And what it is, is they were claiming that there's a, uh, 10 second, um, like, period of music that's copyrighted. Excuse me. Yeah, because it's probably all they could find that didn't have someone talking over it. So they're like, oh, oh, 10... 10 seconds, man, dude, it, it was it was Andrew whistling when they got picked up by the bird outside of a house. So wait a minute, so wait a minute. They're not saying the game audio track was uh, was copyrighted. They're he was saying, whistling to music. They're saying that Andrew whistling is copyrighted by Nintendo of America. You know, Dave, I don't like to assume things, but I think it's safe to assume that. Yes. Oh my God. Well, actually, it was in Japanese. What? The copyright, like the name of the song me. and shit. Yeah, I, I, I translated oh, no. it. Glad we're, I'm glad we're down to Google Translate now. I have no idea where we are. Dude. All right, guys, stay tuned for the losers at work. Go to federal court. Still can't. But well, that's no different than any other day, right? Yeah, yeah. Not being able to run or going to federal court. Probably. Yeah, no, that's just like uh, Dan the Hood. Man, we live in such such a hood. We we are absolutely we are actually from the ghetto. Oh, you can fall in the ice now. Like through the ice or yes. like slip? Yes. Both? Through. Well, I mean you could always fall through the ice if you got too close to the edge. That was like the cereal? Yeah. yeah, that was how the uh, that was the That the never happened wall. to me. Well, because it basically told you to turn around before you fall in the lake. Like, if you went too far south, you got, like, way out in the bay. You know, I sit in the dock of the bay sometimes. I didn't take it from anywhere. Yeah, that's probably No, true. it's fucking, uh, sitting on the dock of the bay, wasting time. You know, that's a... I'd have to, I'd have to hear someone else inside in a second. I'm sorry. I'm not sure I'd recognize it if I like her with the intro. Um, we're trying to find somebody currently to do songs with Andrew. Yeah, because Andrew can't sing, I guess. And uh, now, wait a minute. Yeah, can Andrew actually not sing, or does Andrew just think he can't sing? You know, I guess he uh, he recorded like the first couple riffs of Uma Thurman, uh, that Fall Out Boy song. Yeah, that he wants to do the same as Iran song too. And uh, then recorded himself singing and didn't like it. Okay, so no one, no one but Andrew has heard this, right? Okay, you need to get it from him and we'll listen to it. We will independently determine if Andrew can sing. So you think that Andrew might be able to? I think Andrew might underestimate himself. Yeah. Well, that is something he usually does. I'm just glad Andrew actually listens to our videos. Uh, yeah, he actually does, and uh, he gives me shit about it at work the next day. But uh, I think he has a short-term memory problem, because it pretty much goes away after that. So so the opposite of us calling Kyle Scooter? Yeah. Man, I'm trying so hard to stop, and it's just not working. Poor Scooter. Oh, uh, man, here, all our viewers are going to be confused now. Go ahead. No, I... No, Explain I'm, the situation. I mean, I, this is just more incentive to watch Space Marine, even though that's probably going to be, like, in Part 4 or something. Actually, it's in, like, Part 1. Oh, well, good. Okay. I'll give you a little taste of it. Uh, our roommate Kyle, who's not in videos because he works all the and time. He's in my Metro videos. It's true, Kyle is in the Metro videos. Because um, he's a metrosexual. <laughs> Kyle is the furthest thing from a metrosexual universe. But, regardless, the point. Oh, wasted! The point. point no scopes. Bitch. <laughs> the point of all this is that Kyle. Uh, Wasn't even bothered. We started calling Kyle Scooter for basically no reason. Um, Dylan started it, and I was like, "Ah, oh, that's a great idea. I'm never gonna stop." I, I dude, it and, just came. It just came to me in a dream that I was having right when I was talking to Scooter. And uh, and Scooter hates it, but uh, I'm having such a hard time stopping because it's so funny. And Scooter doesn't have a say. He just he just looks like a Scooter. Like, I mean, it's better than me and Skeeter, right? I mean, neither of them are super great. Scooter is, is kind of a dog's name, but Skeeter is kind of a kind of a hillbilly name. 
Okay, so we got lots of shit in here. Look at this. Now we're gonna now we're gonna go down to zero views because apparently everyone that watches these videos is named Skeeter. Hey, hey, I've heard of worse reasons to go down to zero views. Kind of amazing anyone watches our videos at all. Well, I mean, we have like five views and we know two of them are. Yeah, and we and we gave one guy a massive rash of shit, so he's probably never gonna watch any more of our videos. Well, I mean, he did kind of tell us to get better. Well, in all fairness, he is better than us at long term. Did you watch his video? No, but I mean, I assume he is. He seemed to know what he was talking about when he was uh, schooling us in the comments. Who does he think he is? I don't know. You know, Leonard's going to come to his house and wreck up the place. Yeah, it's true. That is a, uh, a written threat I'll put in the comments. <laughs> we have ten pounds of coal, by the way. Maybe, maybe that can be what Jacoby does. Oh, yeah? You think? Yeah. Yeah, he can he can you know perform physical violence on every day. Well, maybe someday he'll actually do some videos. Hey, he keeps getting closer. And then he's in he's in like a video. But I made it. Well, he's in one of the one of the arc videos that Christian recorded too, isn't he? Don't even get me started on that. Why? On the fact that we've only got one arc video up. Well, I'm really confused about that because we have like tens of hours of arc footage, don't we? Yeah, I even offered I mean, to edit it. I understand that arc is not like the most like stimulating game to watch when we're just like running around behaving like crazy people, but it's it's just a little sad, Dave. How will these people enjoy our greatness? Greatness is greatness is a strong word. Pretty good for some strong men. <laughs> Damn it! How will they enjoy our pretty goodness? You know, Donald Trump's gonna make our videos ready. Oh, shut the fuck up about Donald Trump! <laughs> <laughs> but the, he's gonna he's gonna make our X grade again joke basically never gets old. Okay, do we want to search this place first, or do we want to go search some of the outlying buildings before it gets I mean, dark? Let's like. Uh... Let's search the outlying buildings. I don't know. I mean, we're going to end up burning the entrance really either way. We got shitloads. Probably less luck of eaten by wolves in here, though. Uh, well, we're not. Well, so I guess here's the real th the real talk on that, though. Is we, uh, we probably need to lose some weight before we go. Take other oh, stuff. I, just, I just put a bunch of stuff away. Oh, okay. Yeah. Carry on with that. Yeah, we're down to, uh, 69 pounds. I got distracted. Uh, talking about making America great. Are and, you putting, uh, are you putting needles through needles? Sort of. It's technical, I can't explain it. It's technical, I can't explain it. Do we want to get anything from that wolf we killed? I mean, Just yeah. Maybe the hide? Yeah. The gut. Guts to rip and tear. Yeah, I guess we had to, uh, fame most of that stuff, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, look, I can run again. Rip and tear. Yeah, that's right, Doom comic reference. For all three people that have read the Doom comic. I have. No, I'm just kidding. Have you read it, or have you just read the rip and tear panels that got uh, no? But I, I've read the posted on the entire internet. <laughs> I read that thing about the thing, Dave. Oh, uh, Doom Repercussions of Evil by there Peter Camara. Yeah, that's uh, oh, that's a good car. That's a literary masterpiece. Soda, soda matches and jerky, Dave, and a granola bar. This guy better be some sort of guru. Dude, are we going to? Uh, are we going to burn the granola bar with the matches to uh, boil the pop and make jerky soup? Where? There. Hey. Hey, boom, headshot, bitch. I just love the way your, your guy's invisible arm just kind of satisfactorily works the bolt. We need more, uh, we need more hide, right? Well, we do have a wolf skin coat, so... I hear another one. God, there's so many fucking wolves here. There, there are there are more than a few. You know, we didn't do a sound test before we started recording, so hopefully... Uh, Everything's fine. Just speak up a little. Hopefully viewers can hear us and we didn't just, like, you know... Everything's fine and getting better. Massively change our... Uh, oh, dude, that's a new type of fish. Oh, look at that thing. Oh, yeah, look at those reproductive Quality fish model. 11 out of 10 would catch again. I'm waiting for bears to just be in houses. Handy? <laughs> just chilling out. 
Just like, yeah, you're just like sitting there. So, uh, apparently in Alaska, like, if you have a remote cabin that has a freezer in it, or a fridge, you've got to, like, put a board with nails in it in front of all the doors and windows, because there's something about the foam insulation in the refrigerator that, to bears, smells like a termite hive. And they will rip your refrigerator open to eat the foam, looking for bear. Looking I'll for take termites. it. Excuse me? Yeah. And then you shoot the bear, right? Right. Only, you know, you can't do that when you're not home, so that's... But, the bear... I don't know, I'm pretty sure that's true, and I didn't just, like, make it up one day when I drank too much cough syrup or something. Well, we don't have the good kind of cough syrup here, Dave. Well, no, we have the good kind, we don't have the great kind. What's the, what's the bad kind? Uh, I don't know. So we got, like, the kind that'll make you hallucinate, I, you know, or so I'm told. And, uh... Then in Canada, so I'm told. they have the uh, okay. the codeine kind. You know the kind uh, the kind Jack gets because his dad's a doctor and he's got like tuberculosis or something. Oh, that poor guy. Yeah. Yeah, we got this friend, and uh, he's never healthy. Never ever. He is basically continually on death's doorstep. We don't need water. Look, luckily, his pop's a doctor. Maybe they're related. Maybe it's like a uh, sixth sense, you know? Oh, you mean his dad probably brings home thousands of germs and that's why he's sick all the time? Oh, I meant his dad pours like cleaning aid oh. into his, his food. But, you know, whatever. Well, you considering ready? Kevin doesn't live with his dad anymore, probably neither of those are true. Well, maybe he like delivers cookies to his house with cleaning aids in them. I mean, I really, know, I can say whatever I want about Kevin. He's never going to watch this. Let's, let's call him up and ask him on the air. Like plug our phone into the computer. Are we in the internet now, Dave? I don't know. There's I another mean, wolf over there. I guess we will be in the internet after we upload this. Oh shit! Energy bar. Energy bar here. Give you plenty of energy. Run for the wolves. Dave, we don't run from wolves. We have bullets. We're getting kind of low on bullets. Did you have a pry bar? Did our pry bar break last time, I guess? I, I don't think you can... <coughs> I think if the trunk's locked, it's just locked. No, dude, we just pried open a different one. Oh. Yeah, we got pried, over, pried open. Uh, it got pried open right before we got attacked by a wolf. Maybe we dropped our... Uh, I don't know. Let's check our inventory and see if we still have a pry bar. Mmm, carry around all this raw meat. Yeah. It's got what growing boys need. Meat? Mmm, this will come in handy. Ah, it feels good to get back to the hoarding. <laughs> you know, because for a while there, we didn't actually need anything. I mean, we still don't, but... It, it makes me feel good inside. The way you said that just reminded me of, uh... The uh, the first Skyrim video that came out basically it was that was a hoarders of Skyrim edition. Yeah. I still have. Uh, have you seen the cops one? Yeah. I think I can use Let this. Pull over the guy that's doing alchemy in the woods. <laughs> right, sir, do you know? Do you know how many laws you're breaking? No. Now take me to the College of Winterhold. <laughs> <coughs> Dave, are you dying? I might be. I probably caught tuberculosis from Full long underwear. We win the game now. Yeah. Low condition now. Doesn't matter. It's true. Have repair kits. Uh, we can chop up and play the boots. Wouldn't advise it. Why? I was just kind of making a joke about how in real life that would be pointless. No, did you use the chopped up bits to make more bits? All I know is don't don't act like you've never done all the alchemy in the woods. Excuse me. You know what I'm saying, Dave. I don't do alchemy anymore. I'm not I'm not under 18. Okay. What? What? <laughs> Wasn't it where turning 18? Uh, yeah, that's when it becomes you, legal. Robbed cool you of your alchemical powers. Oh. I thought alchemy were drugs. Dave. Pretty sure drugs don't just become legal when you turn 18. Depends on the kind of drug. Maybe maybe I missed a couple classes in, in law school. I don't know. You did. But obviously. Obviously, if I didn't know drugs become legal when you turn 18. 
Okay, so we're back in our little house area. The Quonset gas Quinacia gas station. Quinacia. I, I don't think any of those are the proper pronunciation. I'm pretty sure I'm right, Dave. Uh, which yeah. one? Huh? Which useful. one? Which time? Quashon. Quashon. We're, we're calling this a Quashon hut, huh? No, it's a Quashon gas station, Dave. Oh, uh, wait. Quashon or Quashon? Because you've changed again. Dave, what are you... Are you just making <coughs> up words now? Do you have the fucking worst cough in the world? <laughs> zoop, zop, zoop, zoop. Zip, zip, zip. <laughs> oh, what's the uh, name of that song? Chacaron. 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 I just imagine that guy falling asleep at night, just just slowly and quietly saying Shaco Road, and then just just more and more quietly the longer it goes on. I just hope everyone listening to this is enjoying their trip back to 2006. Shaco Road. Man, we're filling up all these file cabinets with cool shit. How how is it we just now found? Uh, a little long underwear. We are, uh, we're not lucky sometimes. But we've been doing really well. Yeah. I mean... Probably useful. Oh, uh -huh. is little Davey tired? Little Davey's a little bit tired. I have a big day at work today. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Did you have a big day, a little bit? I did have a big day. Oh. I'm I'm definitely not a little guy though. I know, I know my dad went and visited you. That must have been fun. Everyone in the universe visited me at work today. Your well, dad. if you didn't work at a strip club, maybe they. Just... What? What? I thought you were a bouncer at a strip club. Where do you work? I don't know. Exactly. I don't even know what I do for a living. Exactly, Dave. Exactly. Well, we know it's not YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> We certainly know that. Oh, that's, the, that's the one thing I'm sure about. You hear the rustling of a tin. Yeah. My dad is is might as well just be the seventh loser at this point because he's he's accidentally guest starring in a lot of videos. Yes. Yes, he is. <laughs> That'll be good for him. They're high in fiber. What? What? Huh? I don't know. What? I just told you I don't know. Okay. Oh, ruin. No, but seriously, if you haven't seen that video, he needs to go to that. You now. haven't seen Chacaron by, uh, oh, is it El Mundo? Who cares? Just put in Chacaron. You are, uh, you need to go back to 2006 and just basically relive your life since then. Chacaron. Because you've been messing out. It's literally a dude showing, is, showing English speakers what it's like to hear English for the first yeah, time. Yeah, it is, it is a song that is just gibberish. Um, that is apparently what Hispanic people, like what uh, Spanish-speaking people that do not speak English think it's English sounds like. for anything. It's impressive. It is, it is gibberish. It's great. I love it. Hey, we can open those... Uh, Open those things now that we got a pry bar. Life was life was not complete until I uh, until I saw Chacaron. Chacaron. I can't believe uh, Jack tried to do a report on that for his Spanish class. <laughs> his teacher had to inform him that it wasn't Spanish. <laughs> this stuff will come in handy. I just like how we're talking about Kevin so much in this video for some reason. Eh, why not? Everyone's a target. Yeah, that's true. And can you really not believe that Kevin tried to do a report on that? Because I, I certainly can. Chuck around. Man, Dave, you are not a singer. I'm sorry, I can't sing Chacaron. It's just Chacaron over and over again. No, it's not. There are other words. Yeah, it's like... You don't even know the song. You're telling everyone how great it is. You don't even know it. Dave, it doesn't matter if I know it. It's in my heart. Yeah. What? How can it be in your I'll heart? Take it. The only thing that's in your heart is like blood and black. Gross. I got those worms. You know the ones that jazzercise my muscles. Pretty sure you don't have heartworms. I don't. Uh, 
I looked up once if people could get heartworms, but uh, I was drunk, so I don't remember the answer. Surprise, uh, surprise, everyone. I think it was no. I could Google it again. Nah, I'm good, Dave. In fact, I will, because I bet the internet wonders now, and they're all too lazy to Google itself. No. Google it themselves. No, because they probably do the same shit we do whenever we hear something like that. And they Google it. I think we've looked at everything in here. Oh, shit. It turns out you can get heartworms, and they're transmitted by mosquitoes. So, you know. Probably everyone has heartworms. Look out for mosquitoes, everyone. Because that's the only thing you're looking at for mosquitoes, right? Yeah, well, that's the only reason I look out for mosquitoes. I want that AIDS. Luckily, that's not how you get AIDS. Not yet. Everyone knows you get it by shaking hands with a gay person. Oh. 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 I was about to apologize for the gay community again. Or really being in the same room as well. Oh. That's what, uh, I read some Jack, uh, Jack Chick comics from back in the 80s, and that's what I learned. Oh, dude, Sonic's moving around. <coughs> Got a serious hedgehog thing going on over here. Yeah, he needs to calm down. He's just rolling around. He just around keeps there. running and running and running. No, but seriously, I have a hedgehog named Sonic. My wife named him. Yeah, she likes Sonic. Dylan's, uh... Dylan's Hedgehog behaving like a retard is the uh, currently the number one viewed video on our channel. It's true. If you haven't seen it yet, if you haven't seen it, just go make me feel worse you. about myself by uh, by promoting it and giving it more views. Yeah, Dave is seriously butthurt about that. Well, I'm sorry that this is a gaming channel with like you know content that takes work, and you just take a picture of an animal doing animal things and it blows everything else out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> like it was going to do oh, that man. whether or not you took pictures of it. What? I, oh, the cute shit? Muck spread or whatever the hell it was. It was anointing itself. Yeah, well, you know, I think it's, you know, sounds like muck spreading to me. If you don't know what that is, by the way, you should absolutely look it up on Google Please Video. Please don't. You should absolutely it's about look it up poo. on Google Video. It's not, a, don't spoil it, Dylan. It, it's about poo, guys. Don't, don't spoil it. Please, please don't go for that. Care about yourselves more than that. Afterwards, there's this video called Two Girls, One Cup. Oh, Lord. Not again, Dave. And, uh... Every five minutes, you're talking about Two Girls, One Cup. Every five minutes, huh? Yeah. That explains why there's literally hours of me recorded, and this is probably the first time I've I cut out all of cup. those. You, <laughs> you cut out all of me in the literally video? Literally all of this them. Is, this is literally my first appearance in a video, huh? Because you've cut everything else out? How'd you know? Well, you just said that. Oh, so. shit. I told you? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone look at my uh, look at my bum barrel instead of listening to Dave. It's way cooler. Also, I'm st I'm, I'm I'm dying of thirst. <laughs> Better get a soda. Oh, I failed, Dave. Dylan is the uh, undisputed the awesome picture champion. undisputed health champion. Dying of thirst. Better drink some soda. What, Dave? You don't drink soda? <coughs> Man, fuck this. Yeah, I'm not gonna tell you I don't drink soda. Boom. Look at that. It worked, Dave. It did, in fact, work. That's cool. Got to be 28. Jesus. Buy a lot more. Damn, look at that heat. It's getting hot. Anyway, do we need to cook anything? I don't know. Oh, yeah, we got Rob Rabbit. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we got a trap, too. Look at that shit. Oh. Uh. Sorry guys, I get a little excited about my cooking. Cook it up all good like, yeah! Science! Do you think rabbits think about us when they're eating? No. I don't think rabbits, uh, I don't actually think rabbits think about much of anything. Really? Yeah. I like to think they're thinking. I think their brain's like the size of a marble. That doesn't, uh, doesn't conduce. Doesn't give a lot of opportunity to wonder about shit. Oh, that fire is not as bright as I thought it would be. <coughs> ah, burning the old books. Burn, which, which books that? It was, uh, was Ayn Rand last time. Um, they're all Ayn Rand, man. It's the only thing they read up there. Oh, okay. Everyone just... I'm sorry. It's Ayn Rand and the Bear, which we haven't talked about in a good long while. Everyone long. just sits around reading, uh, reading Atlas Shrugged in the Fountainhead over and over again, huh? Yeah, everyone just shrugged into the bear. <coughs> Are you okay? 
I just, uh, I just coughed up. Gross. I just coughed up one of those gross tassel stone things. Dave, I don't want to see that. I got food in front of you, man. Well, I wasn't trying to show it to you. You were the one who looked at it. Yeah, I, I know. I'm sitting right next to you. Well, you, shit's gross, son. You're supposed to be focusing on the video game. Shit's gross. I, I'm not disagreeing with you. Hey, Sonic. So. See all these low quality foods that I'm supposed to eat for the high quality foods. I am too full to eat. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Spoken like a true American, my friend. <laughs> do we need to do anything to get those, get those fire? I don't, I don't know. I mean, do we need five or six gallons of water or something? Well, I mean, we could put them in the cabinet. Yeah, I like to melt water and just put it in the cabinet. I mean, I'm sure it's watertight. <laughs> well, you know, <clears throat> for some, apparently Canada is just a just a frozen wasteland of uh, plastic bottles because you just find them from nowhere when you want to melt some water in That is true. You should have to find them. But they should be everywhere. Do we need more water? <laughs> it's just melt hundreds of gallons of water. We won't be able to walk after this, you know. Right? <laughs> That's fine. We can throw it directly on the ground. We've used half of our fire, by the way. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at it go down. There should be, like, a water distilling scale. You realize distilling and boiling are like whatever, Dave. Totally not different. The same I'm thing. Oh yeah, now we're thirsty. Now I can drink some of that five gallons. Can of drink water. some of that five gallons of water I just made. <laughs> oh man, Dylan's just gonna stand here for like six in game days straight, just boiling and drinking water. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dave. I have goals in life. Okay. <laughs> Do you really though? Not really. No. What'd you, what'd you tell me your goal in life was one time? To uh, to have a job you don't hate and make enough money to do cool things? Yeah. Which really just involves having, having a moment your own. <laughs> Someday, Dave. <laughs> Those level of cool things is pretty low. You know, I feel that if you never get your hopes up, you never get disappointed. Hey, you got that from me. No, I got that from Dodgeball, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> which... You probably also had a problem. Which is basically just a story of my life, but... Man, we need a goal for next episode. Uh, Want to kill five wolves? Kill five wolves, huh? Yeah. That's. I thought our goal was to... Uh, Fuck, it's, it's dark. I thought we were going to walk across the... Uh, the frozen... Uh, uh, Tundra? Tundra uh, Bay Harbor thing. Oh, I do love the frozen Tundra Bay Harbor thing. It's one of my favorite places. I know. That's why it's so gay. What? What? We go to Misanthropes, uh, Misanthropes Homestead and uh, Jackoff Island. And... What? What? Do I look like I need to go kill? There's a bear on Misanthropes Island now. There can be, yeah. If you like, go play Cave Explorer. Interesting. You can fight the bear again. Yeah, I just accidentally repaired something instead of breaking it down. I'm not gonna lie. Well, you go, Turbo. Eh, cool, whatever. Why does that... You see that dock on the on the right? Yeah. Why does it have that face by it? That means that it's a, uh, that's a deer carcass location. Why is it smiling? It's not. It looks like smiling. See, I think it looks like a surrendering snowman. A surrendering snowman? Yeah, he's, like, really surprised. Whoa! Yeah. Oh my god, Dave. How much better do you think wool pants will be? Uh, a thousand percent. Four times as good. Uh, Marginally better. Twice as good at heat, and actually give us one resistance of 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit. <clears throat> oh, that's right, because we're playing with this game in American. Yeah, we're American, speak American. So I think we're good, I mean... That's probably good for him. Oh, I get to drink some more water. Hold on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, get in there, girl. Get in there with your water bad self. Okay. Yeah. So let's let's end it there, and next time we'll go to Jackrabbit Island. Yeah, we'll go to uh, go to Miss and Trope's Homestead in Jackrabbit Island. Maybe do a little bit of fishing. See the. Uh, Oh, we can check out some of the new shacks that they put up. Yeah, see the other side of the uh, the other side of the bay here for the fishing camp. 
and uh, maybe from there just uh, just kind of see where life takes us. Walk uh, walk back around the long way or something, and then we can go down to uh, around the long dark. Yeah, go down to Commuter's Lament and get to an area that me and Dylan have never been to before. That's probably going to kill us. So uh, thank you guys for watching episode twelve, the long dark, not supported by. Uh, so to stream. So to stream, yeah. It's true. This time we're brought to you by Carl's Jr. <laughs> God damn it. We really have Carl's Jr. here. I know. Seriously, guys. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thank you for watching. Um, Dave sucks.